Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Carrie Dillon. We are joined by Zoe Thatcher, the very intriguing, interesting, brilliant young lady here. So uh, lockdown, COVID-19 hits, and you found yourself in a very creative family. Yes. And you all, tell us a little bit about the story because you all put out a book, The CEO's Time Machine, mm -hmm. piece of fiction, 30 minute read. I. Uh, this is my copy now. Um, <laughs> and that you illustrate, there's an illustration on every page that you illustrated, mm -hmm. and your dad is a creative director mm -hmm. um, for, I mean, so this is, fa who puts out a book in 30 days? <laughs> I mean, this is, fa okay, so tell us the story. Yeah, so the crazy put out a book in 30 days. Um, so when COVID-19 hit, we work in the theme park industry, museums, and obviously all that's closed now, so most of our projects got put on hold. And um, my dad and I looked at each other and we were like, okay, well, we need to do something. We need to put back what we can. Um, and we had this project kind of on the back burner. He had written it a few years ago. Um, and we had kind of figured out the art style that we wanted. Um, but we hadn't really done anything because we had just been so busy. Yeah. And yeah. we were like, huh, the problem with spare time projects is you never have spare time. Right. But COVID hit and all the spare time happened. And we were together. Yes. You were together. We so were stuck in a house together. Matched. Yes. <laughs> okay, so a work of fiction. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell us a little bit about, I mean, being around, you say the word creative director, and I'm like, I want to be a fly on the wall. <laughs> I want to be at the table, the dinner table with right. y'all, you know, it's just the, the visual capabilities mm -hmm. and realizing that, bringing that stuff to life in right. so many different mediums and theme parks and all that. Yes. So just, like, so it's a work of fiction, yeah. it's a business parable. The story is basically for anyone who hasn't felt like they've been heard before. Mm. Um, it's a really intriguing story about how the young people are the future. Mm -hmm. And there's, you know, you always have to look back to the past and make decisions, but the future is the young people and that's what's going to bring you forward. But um, as far as the creative side, if you read it and you pay attention, it's kind of written like an attraction. So, I mean, when you're in a theme park ride, you always kind of wait in line. You're informed in the queue. They're telling you what's going to happen. You know, you get all this information, and then you get to go on the experience. And then hopefully, after the experience, you get to act upon that and take away what you've learned. Integrate it into your exactly. life. Exactly. I cannot wait to get my hands. <laughs> I am so excited to read this. 30-minute read. Mm -hmm. All right, so the other question I had for you, um, how was it working with your dad? It was a blast. Um, he's a very outgoing, creative guy. Um, we're kind of complete opposites, but the same at the same time. He's very um, uh, loud and just excited about everything. And I'm more of an introvert <laughs> and like planned it out. And he would just be like, no, I have this idea and this idea. And I'm like, wait, 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 I need to write this down. I need to plan it out because there's 43 illustrations in there and I had to get them done in like three weeks, four you weeks. Illustrate, illustration on yes. every page and you did, you did all these illustrations. This is so, and so stylistically, mm -hmm. this has a definite feel to it. I mean, yes. it, it has a voice to it that it's just so intriguing. It's yeah. so fabulous. And I mean, I, this is, I can't wait. I cannot <laughs> wait to get my hands on this I'm, lest yeah. I digress. Okay, so the, the expert, the CEO, and the protege. Mm -hmm. I love those stories. It's kind of the Yoda mm -hmm. and the Skywalker. Exactly, Are you yeah. the protege? Um, in a way, I suppose. I mean, anyone Aren't can be all? the protege. Exactly. Aren't we all? Anybody who's hungry, mm -hmm. anybody who's hungry to, to grow and to learn and develop right. is a protege. Yes, exactly. And to have that CEO you can tap into, so it's kind of that... So they think that he has a time machine because he's yes. so far ahead of everything. Yeah, so the basic premise of the book is that the CEO, he's just so far ahead of the game. His company is so successful and he has this R&D garage that he keeps secret. No one's allowed to go in. And um, the rumor is that he has a time machine in there. And he's finally stepping down, turning the company over to his protege who's a young female and um, she gets to go in this garage. And that's where the story begins. She gets access to the garage, oh, yes. and that is what happens. And I, we just started our, our talk saying that I want when there's a creative director, I want to be at the dinner table. Exactly. I want to yeah. be uh, the fly <laughs> on the wall. I want to go in the garage. That's exactly it. Exactly the R and D garage. 
How exciting. Okay, so you are one of three siblings. Yes. And every, Bananas, creative family, mm -hmm. to Scaddies go in there. You went to Auburn. Yes. I went to SCAD. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful experience. So you, um, what did you study at Auburn? I actually studied fashion design. Okay. Um, but illustration has always been a really big passion. I Clearly. still um, do some fashion design on the side. I design dance costumes for little kids, and it's it's adorable. And um, this is such a this is such a um, oh, this is such an interesting style. The voice of this yes. is so fa I can't wait to see how the words <laughs> coincide with this. The illustrations, how do they compare? How do they offset the words? Um, I think they are like the perfect match. It's kind of a funny story how they came to be because my style is usually very colorful children's book kind of. More yeah, this cutesy. is an interesting palette. And you can see some palette. of that come through, but it's much more graphic and sharp and almost um, comic booky. Kind of comic booky, yeah. And so the we were doing, um, there's an Instagram challenge called Inktober during the month of October, and it's a challenge where artists should um, post one drawing a day in like an inked style. And so I was just experimenting with styles, and I did a drawing with a girl in a red scarf, and it was very similar to that, and my dad looked at it, and he was like, that's it. That's it. That's, that's the it. style I want. We're starting this project, and that's what and got it going. And then he proceeded to give you a drink of water with a fire hose, yes. and you went, oh, let me catch all those ideas and realize them. Exactly. Sounds like a match made in heaven, yeah. like you, the, 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 the yin and the yang. Exactly. The, yin to the, yin. the Yoda and the Skywalker. I cannot wait to get my hands on this. Barnes and Noble, Amazon. Mm -hmm. You also have a website, the CEO's Time Machine. Yes. .com. So good to meet you, Miss Zoe. It's a and pleasure. I, this is wonderful. We'll be right back with more Talk of the Town.